Morning, this is Tracy, and I'm going to do a quick review for you of the Pottery Barn Kids Spencer Bento Lunchbox. This is a five compartment box. Just has a quick latch here that opens up, and it has one large compartment, three smaller compartments, and then one compartment that seals. Um, this will fit a whole sandwich. This compartment, even though it closes, is not leak proof, so I wouldn't put anything really wet in this box like uh, watermelon or cut up oranges. Um, but in here I do put apples, I put strawberries, blueberries, um, items like that that, aren't, that won't leak a lot of water. I have not had a complaint about the box commingling their food. So if I put carrots here, they don't end up here, etc. Even though the box is not uh, uh, leak proof, doesn't have like a divider up here that keeps each section sealed individually. But um, I think when this is down, it does a nice job of containing the food. Um, two things about this box that I don't like. Number one is the latch here feels very flimsy and I feel like it's just gonna break off at some point. I have it in blue and the blue one I've had for two years and I haven't had an issue with that happening. As you can see the lid, the latch is still just fine but um, it just feels very flimsy. And the second thing is, is that this also feels very flimsy and it doesn't, it's not like a, you can see, it's not like a snap down. It, so I'm not always sure if it's actually closed or not. And the hinge here is very flimsy too. So I feel like it's gonna break, but like I said, my blue one has not broken yet. So far I haven't had an issue with that. So you can use smaller containers in here if you wanted to send something like a wetter fruit, but I have not found very many that fit. I have these Sistema dressing containers and those will fit in those compartments. Um, you could fit two in one if you needed to. This compartment is a little bit um, wider than these two are. So like when I put this here, and this other one here, this one won't sit flush with that one like it does here. But so, you, but you can still fit two in here. So two of these will fit in there. I also have the Planet Box uh, Mini Dipper, Little Dipper, and that will fit here as well. It'll fit in any of these compartments. This is the original one though, with the stainless steel lid. The one with the silicone lid won't fit in here, see the lid keeps it from sitting down. It won't fit in this one either, but it will fit here. But you can see it takes up um, a good portion of that space. You can take the lid off, but that would defeat the purpose, I suppose, of using a container to contain wet things. <laughs> um, all in all, I do like this box. Like I said, my boys haven't had an issue with it. Um, here's how I have it packed. So here's what the lunchbox looks like all packed up. Um, I put some apples in the slot here that closes. There's carrots and broccoli. He has some crackers, an encrustable and some pretzels. And he has basically the same except he has some mini muffins here. So I will close the box and I will show you what it looks like when it comes home. Hopefully it's empty. Okay, so that's how I had it packed for them yesterday. And um, at the end, like I said, I'm gonna insert pictures of what it looked like when it came home. They ate most of their food, so there was hardly anything left, but you can tell that their carrots and broccoli stayed where the carrots and broccoli should be. So I hope this helps you decide um, on this box. I like it, it's good, I think it's durable enough. And like I said, it's not an investment to make. So if you get this on sale for 13 bucks, I think it's well worth the price. I hope this helps you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.